Bringing hope, equipping lives, affecting destiny.
in this place. It can only be God. It can only be God that we do not lack a place of worship. No, we are not where we are. We are not where we are going, but we are not where we used to be. Let us bless the name of the Lord. Let us thank you for the outworlding arena. Father, we say thank you. We do not allow the gate of hell to prevail against your church. Lord, we give you praise. There are so many things we have to thank you for. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. We are not missing, oh God. No one is missing. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we bless you. We return all the glory unto you. Thank you for so many battles that you fought for us. Thank you for victory on every side. Father, we thank you. Let's serve your name, oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Do I have a witness in the house? Our God is good. Our God is good. We bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness. This is the last quarter of the year. And for those of us that know, and they are very good in running. When you are running, um, what do they call it now? Relay. Thank you. The last leg very important and people that really know how to place their uh, contestants they will put the very best at the last yeah. so that even if some people have messed up in the course of the race yeah. they can catch up we are in the last quarter of the year and God has reserved the best for the last yes. God has reserved the best for the last yes. so this morning we are going to be praying it's just like we should not continue to thank God. There are so many things to thank God for. But because of time, we need to move. This morning we are going to be praying. And we are going to be asking God for grace for this last quarter. To be able to run without any casualty. You know that even in a relay race, if the first three have done a very good job. And that's why the fact that the last person is the best. If for any reason he falls. That's the end. But you will not fall in Jesus' name. You will not fall in Jesus' name. So this morning we are going to be praying from Psalm 86. Why are you still waiting? Don't know the way God will be leading us. Psalm 86, verse 11. And I'm going to be reading from the TPT version. Verse 11. It says, teach me more about you, how you walk and how you move, so that I can walk onward in your truth. 
until everything within me brings honor to your name. I take that again. Teach me more about you, how you walk and how you move, so that I can walk onward in your truth until everything within me brings honor to your name. For every child of God, our relationship with God is the priority. It should be the priority and it is the priority. And without His grace, we can't go far. So in this last quarter, those of us that are in Sunday school, we pray this morning in the Sunday school for the presence of God in this last quarter. Because if the presence is not there, it will be effort in futility. So as we ask for those of us that are not at the Sunday school, we will still going to be praying that the presence of God will go with us even in this last quarter. And we are going to be asking on the top of that, that Lord, in this last quarter, teach me the way you walk. Teach me the way you do things. Teach me the way how you move. The Bible talks about the children of Israel and Moses. He said Moses knows the ways of the Lord, but the children of Israel, they only know the act of God. It is in knowing the way of God that you have victory. That we can, that you and I can finish well. So we are going to be asking God this morning. We are going to say, if you want to rise up to your feet, I want you to rise up. If you don't want to rise up, just sit down. But make sure you are really praying and you take that comfortable place and you let your spirit be knitted even to the heaven this morning. You are going to say, Father, Father in this last quarter, Lord, I covet your presence. Let your presence go with me. Let your presence go with me. And teach me about you. How you walk. How you move. So that I can walk onward. In your truth. Until everything about me. Glorifies you. And honors you. Turn that into prayer. And begin to ask. That Lord in the name of Jesus. In this last quarter of this year 2023. Let your presence go with me. Lord, I covet your presence in every aspect of my life and that, Lord, you will teach me about you. That, Lord, how you walk and how you move, that I will be able to walk with you. That I will be able to walk forward. I will be able to walk in your truth. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, until everything about me glorifies you, until everything about me honors you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, teach me your ways. Teach me your ways, O oh God. Increase my passion for your world. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, teach me your way. Teach me your way. And the way you move and the way you walk. That I will be able to walk with you. That I will be able to walk with you. And be able to walk in your truth. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, teach me your truth, O God. Help me in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Here we go. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, help me, O God. God, Lord, help me, O oh God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Here we go to the Bushirika. Here we go to the Bushirika. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. You want to know the way of God? You want to know the way God walks? You want to know the way God moves? So that you can walk in the truth. You can only know it through the word of God. You are So you are going to pray that Lord in this last quarter increase my passion for your word. Increase my passion for your word. Lord please help me. Increase me oh God. Increase my thirst for your word. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And as you increase it oh God grant me the grace to be able to live in total obedience. Grant me the grace to be able to Trust and believe your word until I can hold, I can answer your promises. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, say, Father, Father, please increase my passion for your word. Oh, create me a deep test for your word. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, help me, oh God, grant me the grace to believe your word, to trust you, oh God, until I can undo your promises. Oh, turn that into prayer. That Lord, in this quarter, Lord, help me to bury myself in your word. Help me, oh God, increase my passion for your word. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, help me, oh God, grant me the grace to be able, oh God, to believe your word, to be able to trust your word. In the 
mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So, Lord, I can handle the promises. Help me, oh God, to be able to live in total obedience. Help me to be able to live in total obedience to your word. There is no victory in any other place. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, please help me. Lord, please help me. Lord, please help me. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. In Jesus' precious name, in Jesus' precious name, we are praying. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Jeremiah chapter 33. We are going to be praying from verses 6 to 11. Then verse 14. 6 to 11. I quickly run through. He says, Behold, I will bring, I will bring it health and eating. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. I will cause the captives of Judah and captives of Israel to return. I will rebuild those places as at first. I will cleanse them from all their iniquity by which they have sinned against me. I will pardon all their iniquity by which they have sinned and by which they have transgressed against me. Then it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all nations of the earth, who shall hear all the good that I do to them. They shall fear and tremble. And for all the goodness and all the prosperity that I will provide for it. Thus says the Lord again, there shall be had in this place, of which you say it is desolate, without man or without beast, in the city of Judah, in the city of Jerusalem, that are, are desolate, without man and without inhabitant, and without beast. The voice of joy, the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, the voice of the bride, and, those, and the voice of those who will say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Verse 14. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised to the house of Golden Arena in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So this scripture is talking about God promising his people to restore them back to a place of, orig of original abundance, original peace, original joy, original help as it was in the beginning. And God says, because of what I will do, there will be a joy to me. There will be a joy to me. There will be a peace to me. You can imagine if something will be a joy to God, what kind of joy will, be, will it be to me? So you are going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, in this last quarter, according to your word, Lord, you will bring health. Lord, you will bring healing to me, to my family, to my loved ones, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will bring restoration as that of old. Everything that was not so in the beginning, Lord, they will give way in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Begin to pray as you pray for yourself, pray for your neighbor, pray for the person on your right, pray for the person on your left, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. This is the word of the Lord and it shall, be, it shall come to pass. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, as you have promised, oh God, Lord, bring help unto me. Bring in in the name of Jesus. Reveal unto me the abundance of your peace and truth. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Call the captivities of my life to be turned around. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And that of everyone in this house, no more. Lord, you will reveal the words of Jerusalem. You will reveal the words of our life that has collapsed, no more. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, show your mercy. Lord, show your mercy. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, oh, the of the everything in the life of your people, oh God, that was not so at the beginning. Lord Almighty, turn it around in the name of the Lord Jesus. Turn it around in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, let that be that good which you have promised. Lord, you will do for us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the 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 name of the Lord Jesus. Everyone that needs healing in this 
Kakoko. Lord, you will bring it in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will bring it out in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will reverse all the irreversible. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Irrecasso in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. He says, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying, even to the church. To him that overcome, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in midst of the paradise of God. This is the word of the Lord for someone this morning. You are going to say, Father, in this last quarter of 2023, Lord, I will overcome. I will overcome. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, turn that into prayer that we will overcome. Every situation that you to overcome, begin to mention it to the Lord that, Lord, I will overcome. So that I can receive the tree of life. I will overcome every struggle. I will overcome every challenge. I will overcome in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, I will not be defeated. I will not be defeated. I will overcome in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I will overcome in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I will overcome in the name of the Lord Jesus. I will overcome every challenge in the name of the Lord Jesus. I will overcome every struggle. I am an overcomer. I decree and I declare in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I will overcome every challenge in the name of the Lord Jesus. I will overcome every struggle. I am an overcomer. I decree and I declare in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I will overcome every challenge mighty name of the Lord Jesus. You will grant me favor. Every door that needs to be opened unto me to be fulfilled in this year 2023. Lord, let it be opened in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every door that needs to be opened to my children, oh God, for them to be fulfilled my household, for us to be fulfilled in this year 2023. Let it be opened in the name of the Lord Jesus that I will not finish empty. I will not finish empty. Turn that into prayer that God will load you, even with benefit with his goodness and you will finish well. You will finish well and begin to speak into your month of December, into your month of October, into your November, into your December, that in the name of the Lord Jesus, this last love I will run well. In the name of Jesus, I receive grace. I receive strength that I will not finish empty. I will not finish empty. I will not finish empty. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will join me with your benefit. You will join me with your goodness. In the
thank you. Thank you because we are God and answer. Thank you because this is the confidence that we have in you. That when we pray according to your will, Lord, you will do it. Lord, we believe you this morning. Even as we have prayed in this last quarter, we are more than conquered. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In this house, no one will die. We will not record any casualty. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will be the head and we shall never be detained. In the name of Jesus. Everything we lay our hands upon shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. No weapon that falls on the gates of shall prosper. Every son that falls on the gates of the Lord in judgment will come shed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Whosoever will gather together against us, they will fall for our sake in the name of Jesus. In this last quarter, oh God, we run into the ark of your day. We turn our loved ones, we turn our children, our grandchildren, everyone that is dead for to run. For the Spirit has said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. Lord, we decree safety. We decree protection. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Now some will fall on our left, then that one on our right. They will not come near us with our eyes that way to see and be able to the word of the wicked. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, the name of the Lord shall be a strong tower unto us. We shall be saved in the day. We shall be saved at night. We shall be blessed in this city. We shall be blessed outside this city. Our point now shall be blessed. Our coming shall be blessed. In this last one hour of the year, every aspect of creation will do our duty. The will of the Lord. The sun will not fight us again. Neither the moon by night. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, your angel will go ahead of us to clear the way before us.
sustain to leave this place. And so I will not be preaching. Thank God because God has I've seen this scenario ahead of me and he has led me to come up with plan B. What is the message of God to each and every one of us? For this season, by the way, can I quickly say this? Ikeolua started with something this this morning. Our mommy also took it over from her. That we are in the last quarter of uh, of the year. <laughs> uh, we have just concluded the two thirds of uh, year 2023. We still have four months to go. But because we're in the, we've started the month of Ember, September, October, November, December. So all of us, we do make that mistake. Immediately we enter into September with the last quarter of the, of the year. Hallelujah. Amen. But God understands, you know, we know God understands. We have prayed that God will guide us through the last four months of the year. It's not a man that should lie, neither the son of man that should repent, or that should go back on his world. He has promised to keep us, he will keep us indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. But quickly, let me just ask these questions. And which I will answer just by four words. What do you say to a man that has prayed? Prayed. I mean, that has prayed. And yet, nothing. What do you say to someone that has waited endlessly faithful and yet nothing What do you say how do you advise someone that has believed all the days of his life that God will come true for him and yet nothing is yet to happen. The last few months for some of us that we do read a lot, you just hear from there that a 20 year old boy or a girl has committed suicide, a 32 year old woman has taken her life. And all over like that. Do you know that it's not because they want to die. They didn't want to die. But what happens is that they have gotten to the end. So it seemed to them Their backs were already on the wall. Hope was lost. They became so helpless. And so they think the next thing is to do what? Just take one's life. 
to everyone in this house. Everyone that has prayed and prayed and prayed. You have gone through issues of life. You have, go, you have struggled. And it's like nothing is happening. And you are wondering when will it be? I had a Lord and I said it to the ministers yesterday. That God said I should tell you do not give up. It is not an advice. It is a command. But I do, I do not have time to let us into why God is saying that you should not give up. But one thing is sure, one thing is certain. The person that says that you should not give up has something in store for you. David, we are told in 1 Samuel chapter 30, he was in distress. He lost almost everything. He was on the verge of giving up. David was a man after God's ass. He must have prayed. People were about to stone him. Were about to stone him. People were about to take their pound of flesh from him. For being their leader. And for failing them in court. The Bible says, and he inquired from the Lord. Lord, I'm about to give up. What should I do? Should I pursue? Will I overtake? Will there be restoration? God answered, don't give up. Pursue. You will overtake. And there will be restoration. <coughs> Can I say to such people, people that have been struggling over issues of life, over issues that you are no longer in control of, over issues that You cannot even be blamed for. People that have waited and have refused not to compromise, they are standing the Lord. And yet it looks as if nothing is happening. Mommy quoted the scripture, Psalm 40, verse 1. I wait patiently for the Lord, for him to just declare his ear unto me. We do not know the time 
that David penned that song. But we do know that it's either when he was running away from Saul, And his life was about, he was about to lose his life. Or might be the time that Ahithophel, his ship cancer, teamed up with his son Absalom to send him out of the throne. He was about to give up. I waited patiently. But because we do not have time this morning, I want to engage each and every one of you in something. The Bible says, Go in a beat in the praises of his people. What we cannot say by reason of words, by reason of preaching, what can I cannot? Do because of lack of time. We can sing to the hearing of the Lord. To such people that are here this morning, to such people that are battle weary. You are tired. Someone said, Come unto me, O ye that are what? That are in a labor. And every burden, I will give you rest. God will give you rest. Amen. You will not pray in vain. Amen. Don't give up praying. God answers prayer. Don't give up waiting. There is a time for everything. That is an appointed time. Don't give up believing. Do not give up. God is still very much on the throne. He has not left where he has always been. He has not reduced in power. His sight has not suddenly grown dream and so he could not see you. He is still the great God that he is. So let me invite you by standing on our feet. Let us worship this God this morning. <clears throat> let us sing melody unto him. If God wants me to bring this message again, he will tell me the time. But let's sing melody unto the Lord this morning. As we table before him, the issues of our life. By the way, God said to me, the month of September, do not follow the routine. Make it a ministration month. In other words, you will be given the opportunity to express yourself, 
whoever has the boldness to cry, you will be you will be free to come forward and cry before God. If you have a song to sing to Him, you will be free to come and just sing unto the Lord. In whatever way you like. Either in your language or in French or in Spanish, in whatever. If you want to roll on the floor, you roll on the floor. Just a ministration month. Where everything will be suspended and will allow the Holy Spirit to just take over from us. I do not have answers to your issues of your life. And there is no one here, no matter the level of his anointing, that has answer to the issue of your life. But there is one that has answer to it. And his name is Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder,
And most assured, let's say it is well with our soul. We may pass through things that are bigger than us. We may pass through the waters of life, the rivers of life, the fires of life. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah chapter 43. It says, do not be afraid, for I am the one that created you. It says, do not fear. Because I am the one that redeemed you. I have eyes I can see. I have ears I can hear. If you, are past, if you pass through the waters of life, I'm going to be there with you. So in your situation, in that seemingly difficult situation, Helpless situation, hopeless situation. God is saying is there with you. That He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. That you are still going through it, and you have not been consumed by it, is because there is someone that is beside you. That is supporting you. And so you can confidently say that it is well with your soul. When trouble like a river attends my way, when sorrow like busy pillows roll, then whatever may Lord, the word of God has taught me to say, it is well. With my soul, with the eyes of faith this morning, can you declare that it is well with your soul? Declare that it is well with soul. That I am not going to go down in this matter. That Lord will uphold me. That Lord will sustain me. That Lord will strengthen me. He will come true for me. He will answer my prayer. That I still hope for me. I am not helpless in this situation. God will answer my prayer. God will come true for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. He is well.
Because your waiting will not be in vain. Number three, because with God nothing is impossible. Number four, because by his very mouth he said, Behold, I am God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for me. Number, I'm not, number what now? Number five is because your case is not hopeless. Because the word of God says there is still hope for a tree that is cut down. Number six, people of God, why you should not give up is because there is someone that rules over the affairs of man. His name is Jesus Christ. He has no beginning. He has no ending. He is the first. He is the last. He is the ancient of days. He is the rock of ages. Is the answer to every situation. Is the chief physician. Is the great surgeon. Is the one that sleeps not. Is the one that neither slumbers. Oh, is the judge of all nations. Is the righteous God. But the architect is the chief cornerstone. But the doctor is the great physician. But the one that is sick, say, I have what I need to do. Oh, by Christ, say, I have healed. He is coming through for you today. He is coming through for you this season. Say, do not do so. Do not give up. I have come. The comforter has come. The Holy Ghost of heaven. The prophets of God, people. Oh, that is to every different. That is to every nation. That the comforter has come. He has come unto the earth. He has come unto the earth. As soon as I stop living this season, empty handed. Thank you, precious Father. So we can say, we can comfort ourselves because when he was living, he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will send the Holy Spirit to you. He will not only teach you, he will guide you. He will not only guide you, he will guard you. He will not only guide you, he will comfort you. He will not only comfort you, he will teach you all things. He will tell you all things. In other words, he will not leave you in the, in the dark. Say, I will not leave you, nor what? Nor forsake you. In that matter of life, 
It looks as if you are being swept away by the current of life. No, that is not it. There is someone that sees to you better than who? The brother is Jesus Christ. So as we head to this today's service, let us sing with assurance that the comforter has come. He has come to comfort us. He has come to reinforce our faith that it is not over until it is over. He has come to let us know that our waiting will not be in vain. He has come to comfort us that there is still a solution to that problem. Oh, he has come to let us know that if he can wake up a stinking corpse of four days, he's going to still make your case a shining example. Oh, he has come to comfort us that if it was not over for the widow of name, on the way when the child was to be buried, he met with the comforter and hope was restored. Your hope is going to be restored. Yes. Oh, your hope is going to be restored. Amen. You will get love. Amen. You will get rejoice. Amen. You will get celebrate. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. You know what? If Jabez has given up, God will not have come true for him. So you need to make up your mind today as we go through the month of September. Let us take on the garment of, of Jacob. I will not let you go until you bless me. Don't be ashamed of your situation. Until you hear my story, it is then you will realize that yours is a child's play from mine. Don't be ashamed of God. Be ready to share your story before God Almighty. And let us leave the rest to Him. He knows what to do. And He will do it in a beautiful way. Amen. You have got me out strong. Amen. You are coming out better. Amen. You are coming out glorious. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The comfort has come. The comfort has come.
God told Abraham that he will become father of nations. There was nothing around Abraham to suggest that it will happen. When God said to Sarah that she will become a mother, the Bible says she laughed because it was already over for Sarah as of the manner of a woman. But God has said it. And that said to it. So as you take that song and you are giving your thoughts offering, your thoughts giving offering is a seed of faith. I didn't have that time to let us into this task giving proper. The time is not available. The Lord said to me, tell my people to raise altar of sacrifice. <coughs> altar of sacrifice. But I don't have time to explain it. When every other thing must have failed, raise altar of sacrifice. See, that will provoke the covenant that have entered into with your forefathers and just leave the rest for me. So where you are, we will do our thanksgiving. We will continue to sing. And let me remind us also that at the congregational meeting today, solely we are going to administer communion and it's going to be what we are going to do proper proper we are going to explain the dog the dogma of holy communion we must do everything we must we must erect every structure according to the word of god that we trigger heavens <coughs> to respond to our situation, to respond to our case. We will do everything that we know how to do, and we will leave the rest. God is going to heal the sick. If there's anyone blind among God, God is going to, the eyes is going to be open. If there's anyone crippled among us, spiritually, emotionally, you are going to walk. This month of September, like I did say to us last Sunday, is very crucial in righteousness. The Lord is ready. Are you ready for the Lord? Doors are going to be open unto you. Amen. <clears throat> Opportunities are going to be available Amen. to you. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. If I tell you my story, you will love to serve my God. What, that, what has never happened in the history of Nigeria, the door that has never been opened to anyone in the history of Nigeria, in the course of this last month, God did it for my children. She belongs, she belongs, she belongs, she belongs, she belongs. All I know to do is to call on him and to be faithful and to be obedient. 
The horn runs from Aaron's head. And of necessity, you must be a partaker of this. Amen. Of necessity, you must draw from this. There's no way your children will not be celebrated. There's no way doors will not be open for your children. Doors of greatness. Of great opportunities. When you get to go and read Deuteronomy, chapter what? 28. I was telling the, member, uh, the ministers yesterday, I said, God has not left where he has always been. Somebody's leg was amputated at the handco. The right leg. Faithful. He didn't like it. But that did not stop him from worshiping God, serving God diligently. But a day came that he went to the man of God. He said, I don't like this thing. And the man said, I cannot help you, but go and go and tell God. And the miraculous happened. Something started to grow. Somebody's left leg was shorter than his right leg. Have you had that have you had that testimony before? Only a fool will say that it is not possible. God is going to move in our midst. So. Amen. I say God is going to move in our midst. So. Amen. Is going to move in our home so I want more human to heal all there's going to be greater far far greater than you no we are small in number but we are going to be great Do you have any reason to give thanks to God today? Yes. Even if you don't have any, the little that I've just said is enough for you to jump up for joy because God is about to do something great in your life and in my life. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. God said to me, I'm giving you a present. I was so happy. So it might be another car. I was so happy. So it might be another house. But the present is not for me. The present is for you guys. So that by the time I leave your midst, I can come back without any notice, knock at anybody's door. Do you know that it is possible? Do you believe that it is possible? Yes. Yeah.
somebody came to visit me while I was in Nigeria. And he brought some things. I said, this is too much. I said, I said Pastor, Daddy, what have you seen? He said, you have not seen anything yet. He said, those small boys, he said, we have become so big. It's one of the people that are reclaiming Dry, doing dredging. Say, say, what have you seen? Say, I want my dinner at the Dibaba. Only ours is now to take care of you. That is my legacy. It is not the money that I have in the bank. So become one of my legacy. I'm so excited about the season that we are. I'm so excited. Because what I can see, you cannot see. But I pray that God will open your eyes to see it. So that you can lock yourself into it. It's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be glorious. In the name of Jesus. What you do not pray for will happen to you. What you do not ask God for, we have been given to you. By reason of association. I paid my dues. The for the for Jesus from
have in our midst today is the Rotimi Akeju. Mr. Rotimi Akeju. Okay. okay. I used to have someone who happened to be my classmate in the university. Red geography. He worked in uh, FCDA in Abuja. Do you know him? <laughs> I will have said that, okay, you are my plot. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You are welcome, sir. You are welcome, sir. We really appreciate your presence. I hope you enjoy our service. I hope we didn't bore you. We are sure. God bless you. God bless you. Please let the people around our brother shake his hand. Tell him that he's welcome. Tell him that he's welcome. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Are uh, we this? Are we this? Are we this? See you immediately after the service. Also, we have Mrs. Mukilola Akintelia Jai. So, okay. That person is there. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Don't mind. Uh, even when you use glasses, you still don't see well. God will deliver us. Amen. Amen. You are welcome, man. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord preserve you. Amen. The Lord will cause His face to shine upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This I just I will like to see you immediately after after the meeting. Uh, that is where I sit in the front, just for two minutes. I won't be taking. I won't be taking your time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we please be upstanding to close this meeting? One of the reasons why God said you should not give up is because he has the last word. The Bible says, who is he who speaks? And it comes to pass when God has not commanded it. Every written of case, every case that has been that as faith and company, every case that has been decided by man at this Thanksgiving Sunday, a miracle will happen. Amen. A reverse is, is happening. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God is turning things around. Amen. It will turn your case around. Amen. God is turning things around. Amen. He's turning that earth around. Amen. I shared a testimony with the minister yesterday. I had the testimony of Friday of someone whose vocal box was removed. She couldn't speak again. She communicates only by texting and by writing. But God came on the scene of that woman. Another vocal box was given to her. There is nothing God cannot do. We stand on that premise this day. On the premise of the cloud of witnesses, O oh Lord, that have gone ahead of us, both in the scripture, the one that we have seen with our eyes, and the one that we have heard. We align, O oh Lord, to those, O oh Lord, to those miracles. We align, O oh Lord, to those signs and wonders. Lord, we align to the fact that you have never changed. And you can never change. 
Lord, we align with your word that says to us that with you all things are possible. Lord, we align with your word that assures us that it may be difficult for man, but for you it is not difficult. We bring to your feet at this hour every difficult situation, every difficult circumstance or resolved situation, stubborn situation. We drop at your feet, O oh Lord, asking, Lord, that you will stretch your hand towards every direction, towards every life, towards every home. There was every individual that requires a touch. And by the power of the blood of Jesus, the blood that calls for a better things more than the blood of Abel. It is the blood that delivers it is the blood that heals. It is the blood that overcomes. The blood that bears. Lord, we align ourselves. In this house with the blood of Jesus Christ. We ask, Lord, you will look down mercifully Amen. and honor our faith. Amen. Honor our faith, oh Lord. Amen. Honor our faith, O oh Lord. Amen. You did for Moses. You did for Joshua. Lord, you did for David. Lord, you did for Peter. My Lord, you did for Paul. Lord, we have tested you before. According to your word, and we can testify to you that you are good. And that you are sweet to serve and to worship. Arise, O oh Lord, in your mercy. On behalf of every life that is looking up to you, even for a touch. Let this season, O oh Lord, not go until they have received their miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is difficult for man to do? What is difficult for science to do? What the medical people all not, have not been able to unravel? Your word can. Your word has the power. Oh, send forth your word, O oh Lord. According to your word, O oh Lord. And let healing that you flow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Thank you Lord. I bless your people, oh Lord. Amen. I bless them with the blessings of heaven. Amen. I bless their going out. Amen. Lord, I bless their coming here. Amen. Lord, let it not be difficult for them. Amen. Remove trouble from their ways. Amen. Sort them out individually. Amen. And collectively sort this house out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Provide roof over our head. Amen. Help us Lord to be stranded. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pharaoh looked at Jacob. And said, I hold that you. Mockering the age of the old man because he remained unsettled. Everything mockering God. Everything mocking God in our lives. Everything mocking God in the lives of this house. An end has come unto you today. The victory of Jesus Christ is not with that. Let everything mocking God in our life be with us now. Amen. 
Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Let this week be a glorious week. Yes. Let it be a week that we have never lived before. Yes. Let it be the best we have ever lived. Yes. Help us to be victorious. Yes. Lead us by your right hand of righteousness. Yes. And when next Sunday she will come, fill our mouths with testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Once again, Lord, I send forth your children into their world. Let their world accept them. Amen. Let the doors be open unto them. Amen. Let everything that we want to study their way, let it crumble before them. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so I decree, and I declare that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. and the Spirit of the Holy Spirit, Amen. be with you now Amen. and forevermore. Amen. 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 Just to remind us at the congregational prayer meeting, we are going to administer Holy Communion. We are going to talk about the why of the Holy Communion. We are going to talk about the hour of the Holy Communion. And we are going to talk about the power of Holy Communion because of the season that we are in. So make sure you make ready your elements. Your element can be just small bread. It can be anything, just an element. And uh, if you have the you have a bottle of Coke, or Fanta, or water in your house, make it available. You will use whatever you are as the elements. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Once again, Father, we thank you. What a beautiful thing to be in your presence. In your presence, surely there's fullness of joy. At your right hand, our pleasures forevermore. Let the joy of your children be full. Amen. Let the joy of your children be full. Amen. Give them testimonies of our testimonies. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great week.